Assalamu alaikum guys, welcome to a rather concerning episode of Smile to Jannah. Smile to Jannah. <laughs> when our politicians and leaders become bigger comedians than those people who actually tell jokes for a living, we're doomed. We know how much of a genius our respected Hazrat Donald Trump is, but we lay reassured that his handlers have at least a little bit more intelligence than him, so they at least have him on some sort of leash. That reassurance has been severely shaken as of today. His lawyer in an address to the Supreme Council whilst debating the travel ban has said unnervingly, unashamedly and uncategorically and I quote Trump has praised Islam as one of the greatest countries of the world. Ladies and gentlemen, a new low. This guy must have a really special map. Well uh, you know you take a right at the Koran, you carry on going straight, you take a left at the Muslim, then take a right once again at the Ramadan and there you have it, you're at Islam. Now they saying he's made a mistake, but once you make a mistake, you immediately correct it mate. Nor did the judge say, hang on a minute. What are you banging on about? But I'm uh, worried to think that the Supreme Court leader even thought that Islam's a country as well. Now we know the far right, the likes of Tommy Robbins and Jada are gonna be furious. Not the fact that he's called Islam a country, but the fact that he's called it one of the greatest countries because they're gonna be pushing forward the fact Islam is not one of the greatest countries, it's obviously Christianity isn't it? And then Judaism. Honestly, whenever I watch the news, rather than my intelligence increasing, I honestly feel more dumber. As you guys know, there's elections happening in the UK tomorrow and majority of the conservatives, their sole strategy for winning is just cussing Islam mate. It's just another scapegoat. They're ignoring the fact that there are 40,000 stabbings that happened last year mate. They're ignoring the fact that the UN has actually raised concerns over racism in the British police. They're ignoring the fact that 120,000 kids are sleeping homeless and it's become a national crisis. And then in turn the police is complaining to the government for lack of money as well. Because let's face it, how many politicians actually solve these crises? Because these things have been happening for a long time. Now we've got another scapegoat. Now this is absolutely beautiful mate. In Lewisham, the Labour candidate has equated Muslims to Nazis. In Enfield, the Conservative guy has actually posted a picture of bacon on a door handle and he said this is how you keep Muslims out. In Hackney, again the Conservatives, he's posted anti-Muslim stuff and also attended a Tommy Robinson rally as well. In a place called Evesham, that guy had in his Twitter description, whites are oppressed now and some other garbage too. In Solihull, again Conservatives, retweets of Islamophobic content. In West Yorkshire, again comparing Muslims to parasites and mad retweets. These are the people who want to be leaders now, God help us. Yeah, so be more aware of what's going on and of course we know yeah that is a news article of the US government spending 500 million on fake Al-Qaeda propaganda mate. Yeah, and that's being invested in not peace mate. Yeah, the government the media isn't interested in that. The media wants to make money, Muslims are there and drama sells. The government wants to get votes, they need a scapegoat, so here it is. So it now comes down to you mate, watching and me. We are the people. We need understanding amongst each other so we can't be manipulated like this mate. Yeah, humanity unites. Enough said mate. Until next time guys, see you soon. Salamu alaikum.